For nearly a third of American adults take five or more medications every day, and adverse drug events send 700,000 victims to the ER every year. There are some crazy numbers in this segment. You have to hear this. Here with the dangerous drug combinations lurking in your medicine cabinet, Dr. Nina Rycliffe. Good to have you here. Thank you for and again, me. you know, we just showed a funny clip, <laughs> but this is something that a lot of people do, you know, maybe just two medications, but it could be very, very dangerous to your health and it could kill you. Right, exactly. What we need to know is that medications are powerful agents that affect our bodies. We need to be vigilant. We need to do our homework, and we need to consult with professionals, our pharmacists and our doctors, whenever we take any of them. All right, let's start with narcotics. If you take narcotics, for instance, Percocet, Vicodin, uh, Tylenol number three, what should you avoid taking? Do not mix with anti-anxiety medications, Xanax, Ativan, or, um, or, um, or Valium. These medications, they, profound, they compound the sedative effects of it and can affect your breathing. It can become the one-two punch that knocks out your breathing. Hydrochlorothiazide, hydrochlorothiazide. That is a diuretic for blood pressure. What should we not mix with this? What should we definitely avoid? With amiodarone, sodalol, or high doses of insulin, these medications decrease our potassium and can cause dangerous heart rhythms. Okay, let's move on. Nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin for blood pressure and common um, angina medication. Yes, do not mix with Viagra. Both of these medications dilate our blood vessels and can drop your blood pressures. What we have seen is angina, heart attacks, and even death with it. Um, you know, and once again, we always talk about alcohol. Don't mix alcohol. But you, so many people go out, they, they you know, have some booze, they go home, they take their antidepressants mm -hmm. or they're this or they're that. I mean, what's the real concern here with that? Right. Remember, medications are powerful agents. We do not want to mix with the effects of alcohol that can cause sedation, especially with narcotics, sleeping pills, um, and antidepressants. All right. And Another big uh, issue that you were talking about this during the commercial break, medication errors. Um, I, we always joke, it's kind of like a, a national joke, that doctors have the worst handwriting in the world, and you get these prescriptions, and you're like, I, I hope my pharmacist can read this. Um, this is actually not a, not a laughing problem. Not no, a laughing. It's matter. absolutely not a laughing. There are seven thousand deaths every single year because of this, either from ineligible handwriting from the medications itself, or as well as the dosages. And so, what we're looking at is doing electronic records so that we can decrease the risk of this happening. But are, are doctors really buying into that? Because I would imagine the older kind of we're do, we've done it our way, we're going to continue to do it our way. Doctors are not really buying into that. Right, and that's one of the problems, and we're getting that we're showing that there increases safety, and we need to make this um, argument that we can increase this. All right, and by by the way, how do you avoid drug-on-drug -drug interactions? Well, every prescription comes with a medication guide, and this is specifically written for patients so we can understand the risks that go with it. Read it from front to end. The other thing is engage your, um, your pharmacist as well as your doctor. They are on your team. Make sure that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. So if you have different physicians, they need to know every single medication, over-the-counter drug, and herbal supplement that you are taking, and read labels. Make sure you take them as prescribed. I know a lot of people just sit there and go, okay, I've got this, I'm just going to pop it, and they really aren't paying no. perfect attention. No, they are powerful medications. We need to take them with vigilance. Right. Thank you, doctor, very much. I appreciate it.